Now, uh, because we're all nearly two months now in lockdown, we are experiencing shortages when we go to the shops, if we dare go to the shops at all. And one of the most popular items for people to hoard, it seems, is flour. Uh, so I've heard it said that flour is in such short supply that the rich people in London are adulterating their flour with cocaine in order to make the flour go further. Now, that might be an exaggeration, but uh, we don't intend to do that or try that today. What we are going to do is use porridge to make porridge bread. No flour required. So it is a, a continuous opportunity for us to be inventive. And uh, necessity, we're told, is the mother of invention. So let's see what necessity has done today. We're going to bake some soda bread. Well, I should say porridge bread. We are going to use soda uh, and we've already prepared all of the ingredients. I'm going to now uh, go from the dining room to the kitchen in Nottingham where we're going to prepare the soda bread. And here we go. Uh, the All the ingredients are here and I'm using the phone in order to make sure that I can observe what you, the viewer, can see as well. And uh, leave the phone out of the way there. Uh, this is, uh, it's so, there we go. It, it's uh, so relaxing and, and relaxed that you don't have to bother with ingredients at this stage. Um, the ingredients, the temperatures and the times will be given uh, on the website. And that's the website there, www.mccrory's.co.uk. If you click on there, you'll find that you'll be, if. If you click then on, or if you go onto McCrory's website and you click on blogs, you'll see the recipe for porridge bread. So in this case, this is how relaxed you can be about ingredients, is that you, I'm starting off with having this uh, bacon tray here and that's the size of it. So that's what I have to fill and you can have whatever depth you like. You normally use a loaf tin, but I want to bake a reasonable quantity. And uh, then what I do is share it around the parish. I get on my bicycle and uh, I deliver it to, usually to people who are older than I am and deliver a portion to each of them. As time goes on, I find it very, I have to go further and further to find people that are older than me these days, but uh, I st I'm still managing to do that. So here's a quantity of porridge that I've made, prepared earlier, just uh, poured it. Oops, that's uh, a phone, I'm going to have to decline that, which I've done, uh, and that will probably happen again. Looks like Joe's trying to phone me to give me progress on his uh, daily walkabout, no doubt. His uh, daily exercise, but uh, it's not not suitable just now to take a call. And uh, that shows you how we are live. Now the thing is about porridge is that it really is healthy. And uh, we have to decline that as well. Uh, so... I'll just press that. And the porridge is so healthy that if, if you if you just take a look, what's happening here? 